Welcome to the Mechanics of Trauma, the show where we break down the falls, injuries, and pathophysiology behind them. Hey everyone, I'm Jeff, and welcome to our new series, Mechanics of Trauma. Today we're talking about water sport injuries, where speed meets water. Wakeboarding wipeouts and water skiing crashes, these things are high speed fails. Not only are they spectacular, but they lead to some pretty significant injuries. So what happens to your body when you're speeding across the water and suddenly wipe out? Well, let's break down the path of physiology. As exhilarating as wakeboarding and water skiing is, there's very real risk to injury, especially when you factor in the speed and the unpredictable nature of water. Hitting the water at high speed can lead to injuries ranging from concussions to muscle strains, joint dislocations, even fractures. So let's take a closer look at what happens in these types of crashes. When you're skimming across the water at 20 to 40 miles per hour, you're not just dealing with the water's surface, you're dealing with the surface tension and resistance. Normally, when you're in the water, it gives way and it absorbs the impact. But at these speeds, water behaves more like a solid object. So when you wipe out, the force is rapidly transferred to your body, leading to a variety of injuries based on how you fall. Now let's dig deeper into what actually happens to the body during a high speed water crash. Depending on how you fall, you're at risk for different types of injuries, each with their own pathophysiology. If you fall head first or face plant, you're essentially decelerating your head from high speed to almost zero instantly. This rapid deceleration can lead to a concussion, which is a type of traumatic brain injury. Essentially what happens is the brain still moves and so it slides forward and inside the skull impacts the inside of the skull like this, leading to temporary disruptions in the brain functions. More severe impacts can actually cause cervical spine injuries as the neck hyperextends or hyperflexes leading to potential spinal cord trauma or even vertebrae fractures. When you're holding onto a tow rope, your arms are locked into position in a crash and it forces the travel through the arms and shoulders. This can lead to shoulder dislocations due to the extreme rotational force or rotator cuff tears from sudden distress on the shoulders and muscle tendons. Additionally, the elbows can risk can be forced into hyperextension, resulting in strains and sprains. Landing on your legs, abdomen or side can lead to serious injuries as well due to the direct force of transfer. ACL injuries, knee inch hyperextensions occurs when the legs hit the water unevenly, causing twisting motions. The abdominal muscles and organs are vulnerable too to blunt force trauma, which could lead to contusions and in severe cases, damage to the liver and kidneys. Now let's talk about what paramedics should do in these injuries. First off, scene safety. Make sure the scene is safe before approaching the patient. Look for boats being loaded or unloaded, people that could be a problem or any hazards in the area. Perform a quick primary survey and assessing the ABCs quickly. Any high speed impact that involves head or neck trauma requires C-spine precautions, so use a C-collar and immobilize the patient on the stretcher if needed. Make sure to perform a full secondary survey, check for signs of concussions, of confusion, nausea and amnesia, fractures or internal bleeding. Start an IV for fluid resuscitation if it's needed and consider oxygen therapy, especially if there is respiratory distress. Pain control is important here. Administer pain medication as appropriate, consider things like fentanyl or ketamine based on your protocols. Rapid transport to a trauma center is necessary for any suspected head or spinal injuries or internal injuries. Well, that's a wrap for today's deep dive into wakeboarding and water skiing injuries. If you have any questions or stories, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more injury breakdowns and medical science. Next time on Mechanics of Trauma, we're going to explore extreme falls and how it impacts your body. We'll see you there.